Health, Beauty, Life, the show was created to recognize and explore trends in celebrity, food, beauty and fashion, health and fitness, travel and lifestyle. Hosted by Patrick Dockery. Hi everybody, today we're here at uh, Leighton Dental in Encinitas, California with one of my favorite, actually my favorite dentist in the world because I actually am one of your patients. And uh, we're so lucky to have you as a guest today. And um, one of the subjects that we're talking about right now is obviously mercury filling. From the day a mercury filling is placed, it leaks and then it corrodes. And when it corrodes, it expands. Like freezing water breaks rocks and mountains Absolutely. crumble. Yes. Mercury fillings leak, corrode, and crack teeth. If you've had a crown in your mouth, it's probably, if you're over 40, your mercury filling's been there for 20 years, and you have a crown in your mouth, it's probably there because your tooth broke. And it probably had a mercury filling in it that broke the tooth. Wow. But you didn't know that. No, you didn't. You don't associate the two. No, but if you get the mercury fillings out before your teeth break, you don't have to get a crown. And that's me, thanks to you. Yes. Mercury is the most toxic, non-radioactive metal. I learned that. It became obvious that removing the mercury was the most toxic experience because uh, it, it went from a small exposure to a huge exposure drilling it out. And so we developed guide, uh, protocols to shield the patient completely, keep the patient uh, totally shielded from mercury, keep them safe. We have big vacuums. We don't let them be exposed to any of it. And of course, we have to be concerned for ourselves. And so our system keeps the whole office clean and safe. That's amazing. And it uh, and, and made it simple. And now, the, and now the filling material we use makes it even better. So mercury fillings, you know, what are some of the benefits of removing the mercury fillings other than just the toxicity? If you leave your mercury fillings in and say, I'm fine, I'll just be careful. Over the years, teeth will break. You'll have to get crowns. And uh, it just makes sense to, have, they've served their lifetime. Right. And give them 20 years at the most, uh, it, it's time to replace them and save your teeth. Hey, and you have an amazing process that's rather quick and painless. Yes, and safe. Yeah, and we're going to go see that right now, so I can't wait. Good, and uh, Cheryl will be our uh, patient, and uh, let's go. Great, let's go. Well, here we are now in the procedure room where it all happens with uh, Dr. Layton and his lovely assistant, Kendra. And Dr. Layton, who's your lovely patient? Cheryl Garbowski, who's volunteered to be our uh, patient today. Are you excited? Very excited. Very excited? Yes. So uh, how long have you had those fillings in there? Um, 10 years, maybe. 10 years? Mm -hmm. So you're pretty excited, huh? Yeah. And you know a lot of the benefits because you work with Dr. Layton. Yes, I do. So you see people like me that come in and uh, are so happy after they have the procedure done. So now it's your turn. <laughs> Can't wait. All right, well, let's get started. We're going to be removing mercury fillings today. When mercury fillings are removed, it's a toxic experience because a lot of mercury vapor is released and patients could swallow the mercury also. So we're going to protect Cheryl thoroughly and so she won't be exposed to any of this. So, uh, Cheryl, first we have to do some anesthesia. The mercury fillings have been in your mouth for a long time and um, they release a little bit of mercury all the time, but when we take them out, it releases a lot. Mercury fillings are over half mercury. They're called silver fillings typically, but they're over half mercury, so they really should be called mercury fillings or mercury silver fillings. And they really shouldn't be put in people's mouths. So we're gonna, we're gonna solve this uh, today. And we'll put just a little bit of anesthetic here, just gently here, so that when we do this, you won't feel a thing. Cheryl, you're an excellent patient, and Thank you're gonna you. love your teeth. <laughs> And you look cool with those glasses on. I mean, the key is the glasses, right? Because she looks real cool. We're going to place a shield over her tooth so that nothing can get in her mouth when we're drilling. And we're going to use a very big vacuum so that all the vapor is carried out. I don't have to, I can't breathe it. Kendra's safe. The whole office is safe when we remove the mercury. We look at this, we can see that nothing can get in her mouth. And all we can see, can you turn your head to the right, Cheryl? All we can see is the one tooth. We can see the little black mercury filling. And uh, so she's safe in that way. But the big problem is the mercury vapor. And so we're gonna use this vacuum. It's quite strong. Wanna feel that, Cheryl? 
Yeah, and if you'll hold this up near your chin, Kendra and I and you will be safe from the mercury vapor that's released when we drill out the filling. Okay, Kendra. Now we're gonna take out the mercury. Now the mercury is out. If we hadn't used uh, it, the, uh, the shield and the, and, the, and the preparation, her mouth would look black from the mercury dust and the, and the, and the debris. So that we've taken good care of her and kept her healthy, kept her safe. Okay, so we've taken the mercury out of this little tooth right here, and now we're gonna take the mercury out of the tooth behind it. Surprisingly, the shiny ones release the most mercury in your mouth while you're eating in every day. The black ones are a little safer, but they're, they're both toxic when they're removed. What is the lifespan on an amalgam filling or a mercury filling? It's a very good question, because most of us got them when, they were when we were children, and a mercury filling corrodes over time. I'd say after 20 years, they're to the point where they break teeth. So what's more, we're gonna place the shield, a new shield. And I'm checking the shield, it looks like it's, uh, it's good, it's not gonna leak. Okay, Kendra. All right, very nice. The mercury filling is out. I think the tooth is happy to get the filling out. Yeah, absolutely. So the next part of the process is to fill the tooth with a filling that uh, will replace the mercury filling. Now what we use is a porcelain composite in this situation. It's very nice in, the, in that it looks just like tooth, and also we bond it to the tooth. That means the filling will not leak like the old mercury filling leaked. I noticed you flipped your filter there. The light is what activates the, the catalyst that cures this process. Now we can add the light. And then is this a UV light? Is there a special type of light? It's blue light. It turns out that the catalyst, it's not UV, it doesn't hurt the eyes. Okay. The catalyst is activated by the light. And then that's the dent, actual dental material? It is. It's about 86% uh, porcelain in a fine particles mm -hmm. in a resin matrix. So here we're placing this uh, filling material in the, the tooth cavity. And go ahead with the light, Kendra. That's completely hardened at this point, correct? Right. Well, the mercury's gone, the white filling's in place and the tooth is like new. Well, we got through the procedure. How you doing? Great, everything feels great. Yeah, you're pretty excited. I am. Yeah, how, so how was the procedure? It was easy, I didn't feel a thing. Great, and it's a new you. It is. You got a couple more. You got them, got it planned out? I'll be doing those pretty soon. Great, and thank you, Dr. Layton. You did an amazing job. Thank you, Patrick. Love the work you do, and Kendra, you were amazing. Thank Isn't you. Isn't she just the best? She is the best. <laughs> thank you. Well trained, and you know, hey, yep. you pulled it off. <laughs> Well, everybody, thank you so much for being with us. And until next time, just remember to enjoy. enjoy.